just imagine a whole president who who let's say endorses a, a, a very big project and it becomes a success and it brings the country fame money power status don't you think that yo yo what's up my inspired alphas welcome back to another video today i am telling you four reasons why women love proud men make sure you like make sure you subscribe let's jump into the video number one proud men are confident men just think about it there is no way you can be proud if you're not confident because you are proud you are proud of something that is in you you look at yourself and you and you feel like wow i have accomplished so much that i am i am proud of myself i am proud of the man i'm becoming i am proud of the way you know the way you are doing things your accomplishments make you proud of yourself and women pick up on, on this guy because he he's he, he's exhuming confidence remember women are attracted to confident men the number one attraction trigger is confidence it's that simple confidence so if you are proud if you're proud even if women will say this guy looks like he's proud like he's arrogant women want those guys because they know those guys are it you walk like you own the world why do you walk like you own the world the woman wants to be with a guy who feels like he owns the world because she knows that when i be when i'm with this guy i'm with the best guy he, he, he feels this way because he is the best version of himself just look at how proud men walk they walk with pride and i am telling you when you are focused and you know to achieve your mission and purpose in life you will be proud you are going to be proud even if you feel like you are humble you are going to be proud of yourself and it will come out to other people and they will see how proud you are in yourself and they will start to wonder what what is going on with this guy that he feels this way women look at guys and feel like what is going in your life what is going on in your life that makes you feel so proud i want to know i want to be part of it because they know a proud man is a is someone who enjoys life is someone who enjoys himself is someone who loves himself he's proud of himself because he loves himself he loves the guy he has become it's that simple number two proud guys are selfish guys and i remember i made a video of four toxic traits that women love you should watch it it's up here but one of these traits is selfishness a guy who is selfish women are drawn to him because a guy who is selfish a guy who is focused on himself a guy who is focused on improving his life improving himself generally women want to be around that guy because he has value this is a guy who is continually adding value to their lives and women know that when I'm around this guy he is going to add more value to my life guys selfish men are guys who are focused on conquering the world being the best version of themselves always looking at okay I have got I, I have accomplished this what's next they are never complacent they never get comfortable they are always hungry for the best and they always they get and they always get the best out of life and women love the best things women will look will women will choose the guys at the finish line the guys who emerge as winners and selfishness is a trait that is uh, is associated with success you have to put yourself first so that you can be able to, to
to improve others, you have to improve yourself. And women love this because you will be at the top. Women want the top guys. They don't want average guys. They want the guys who have made it. And selfishness will make you great. Selfishness will make you great. Number three ties with number two. Success. Guys, guys who are selfish are successful. Women are attracted to successful guys. Just think about the caveman period. Women would pick the strongest guys who would be able to go hunt the food and protect the family. In this modern times, even if we don't have to go hunting and gathering, or oh, yes, we have to be able to show that we can be able to reach the top of the dominance hierarchy. And this is done by being successful. This is done by every day accumulating small success, successes to compound into the bigger successes in life. Don't ever think that you are going to be successful instantly. It's the little things that you do right now that will determine whether you'll be successful in life or not. Just think about it. Waking up in the morning and making your bed, that is a success. Cleaning your house, being, uh, uh, going to the gym and doing the whole workout till the end. Even if you get tired, you push on until you complete your workout. That is a success. Going a whole day, staying disciplined to your rules, that is a success. The small, small success, they add up to big successes because you are growing mentally. You are used to being successful that, such that when you reach to the, to the bigger, bigger challenges in life, they are not big to you. You have grown gradually and they are at your level. You can be able to to overcome these challenges easily the way you overcome small challenges you have grown and women know guys who are successful are strong these are guys who can protect them and they can pro provide for them you are fit if you are fit you are showing you have physical strength you can protect you are financially stable you can provide what else does a woman want in a man? If you cannot provide, if you cannot protect, then she does not want your genes. She does not want to live with you because you're poor. She's going to suffer. Women want the best for themselves and their offsprings. So they will always, always go for the successful guys. So always celebrate the small successes which will propel you towards the bigger successes in life. Last but not the least, men who are proud are masculine men. Pride is a masculine trait. Just think about it. Women chase guys. Guys chase success. So women are proud of their men. Men are proud of themselves. So if you are proud of yourself because you are conquering the world, you are focused on yourself, you are trying to improve yourself so that everyone around you, close to you, can have a better life. You are the one who is their leader. That is a masculine trait. Masculine men, if you embody masculine traits, you are going to be successful. There is no shortcut. You have to always maintain a masculine frame so that you can have that focus, you can have that direction, you can be able to lead yourself and lead your tribe. Guys, you must embody the leadership qualities that proud men have. Just imagine a whole president who, who let's say, endorses a, a, a very big project and it becomes a success and it brings the country 
fame, money, power, status. Don't you think that guy is going to be proud? He's the leader. All of the guys associated with this guy are going to be proud of their leader. But the leader is going to be proud of himself. I did this. I did this for my own good and the and to improve my 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 community, my tribe. So proud guys are leaders of their tribe, tribes. And they and they have that masculine power, masculine energy that resonates around them. Hopefully you got value from today's video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Peace out. See you in the next video.